Okay, so my name is uh, David Giffin. Um, I work for Goldring, and I've worked for Goldring for uh, approximately 30 years. Um, what I am now doing is uh, winding and moving coil. This cartridge, or this particular cartridge, would be used on something like the Eroica or the Elite, or possibly the Legacy cartridge. Uh, we're using copper wire. It's uh, 0.0. 3 of a millimeter in di diameter. Uh, it's insulated wire um, and what we're doing now is bringing the wire onto the coil, onto the armature and I'm now going to start winding. In this particular cartridge uh, we're winding roughly 60 turns of wire uh, per channel. So I'd start off by winding one leg what a slow procedure. We're probably winding something like 25 of these per day and working on the assumption that we have about 25 complete cartridges built per week. I'm now going to wind over the top of the winding I've already already done so we end up with two layers of windings this is just so we can get the right amount of turns on each leg and while I'm doing this little bit of history about Goldring uh, it was started by the Schaff brothers in Berlin in Germany in 1906 um, it then moved to the UK in the uh, 1930s. Most of the procedure that I'm doing today in winding these moving coils is the same method that we used when we first developed cartridge making. It hasn't really changed for many years. My father, um, before me, worked also worked for Goldring. Um, he was technical director um, and worked for the company for over 40 years. So that's one channel wound. I'm now going to glue the wire into place. Steady hand is always quite good in this job. I'm now unwinding one of the wires that we started with. This is the moment of truth, you just hope no wires break. We turn the whole assembly around. And what I'm going to do now is wind the other channel. So exactly the same principle that I started with. Bring the copper wire, this is copper wire, onto the coil. We also use uh, silver wire on a different cartridge. Um, this particular wire we're using is the, f is the thickest wire. We also use a much finer wire on high output cartridges, simply because we need to get more turns onto the coil. winding the last the last leg okay that finishes the cartridge and then we're just going to glue these wires into place
And now I'm going to unwind all the wires and remove the coil from the winder. And there we have one coil wound.